Like the sign says, guys, welcome to Orange. My name's Sam Saggers, Director of Positive Real Estate. Best part of my job, I get to go out and meet some fascinating people, see some fascinating areas, and get to buy some great real estate in the marketplace. Today, we're gonna to spotlight the township of Orange. We're gonna meet the mayor. Not all investors get to get the opportunity to get out there and uh, come to these areas firsthand. So one way you can overcome that is by coming to one of our property information nights. They're held all around the country. And part of my job is to turn some great strategies and ideas into commercial reality so we can make some money in the market and also bring back to our clients and our members some great content and information from local market areas. Today we're Town Spotlighting Orange. I'll show you around. Hi guys, we've got a number of clients who have uh, put some money into the garden estate in Orange. It's in North Orange, it's one of the best precincts of Orange. Very close to um, some market movers which Luke will talk about. And uh, as you can see me, there's some good established housing behind, and lovely views off into the district. In fact, properties behind me have been selling for around the 460 thousand mark which is great news for our clients who got into this area and are able to finish their house and land package um, at um, just under 400,000 um, so good news for, for those buyers into the future Luke what's happening in Orange yeah well look uh, Sam I know that you and all your mentors are long-term believers in Orange like we are um, We've been lucky enough today to get that meeting with the mayor, so uh, who better to talk about the, the location? So I'll leave the, the macro stuff for him. But basically, look, when you're looking at guarding a state, you're, you're walking distance to the botanical gardens, that brand new Woolly Shopping Centre's just over the road, so from a marketing, marketing moving point of view, it's fantastic. And th yeah, this residential area, it's got that established feel about it. And when your guys build out here, I can't think, but you know, what great growth they're gonna get. Absolutely, uh, we've been taking a good look around Orange. Very hard to get some land under the $135,000 mark. In fact, most land lots are uh, pushing up around the 155, 160. So land's growing in value, buildings got not getting any cheaper. And so I think what our clients were able to achieve here is pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah, good on them, congratulations. Hi guys, uh, Luke here. I'm in the uh, John Davies Motors. I'm here with John, who's the mayor uh, of um, Orange. We're going to have a quick chat about the, the macro things going on in Orange from a uh, property and industry point of view. John, thanks very much for having us today. Um, look, the first one I want to do is talk about um, the mining and the changes that's happening in this contractor base. I know that um, in my research, it's, it's actually a small part of it. What's your thoughts on, on that from a property investment point of view? Well, I, I think, look, it's only a, uh, basically the plan is just a continuation of a gold mining operation. And we're going to have every sort of uh, two or three years, in my opinion, we're going to have new finds. And for example, the current, uh, the current um, operations are Katy East. And as Mayor of Blaney, for example, uh, 15 years ago, we knew about the open cut mine, we knew about Katie Reese, we knew about Katie Far East. Now Katie Reese is the one they're working on now, 15 years later. It's taken them that long to get to that point. Um, and they, they, they're um, predicting that they're going to produce gold, I believe, in the four, uh, $94 an ounce rate. Right, and look, when you think about it, mining's such a small part of the industries, like, you know, you've got other um, major ones. I've got Sam here from Positive Real Estate, he's up here researching Mark, you had some questions. Yeah, well look, um, the famous demographer Bernard Solt talks about uh, investing in areas with um, absolute um, perfection when it comes to healthcare. Can you um, perhaps tell the, the listeners about the, the healthcare operations in Orange and how many people it services? Well, it's been an enormous burden to us in Orange. We've got a situation where we've got a new hospital that doesn't only serve Orange, but the whole Central West, 300 odd thousand people in the Central West, $290 million, and brought us 300 extra jobs for Orange over and above the previous um, hospital. But in the section where it's actually built was the Bloomfield uh, Mental Hospital, and there was over 200, 200 more medical people employed in that section. So you know, we've got in Orange now, which is absolutely fantastic, it's taken the pressure off Orange in regards to being a gold mining town yeah. with all our eggs in the one basket. To now I believe that the mining industry will be about 40%, the medical industry will continue to grow at 40%, and then we still have 
We still have, for example, Electrolux building white goods, and like they employ in excess of 700. Yeah, and on top of your tourism and the wine industry. Uh, yes, and it's very hard to juggle all these in regards to accommodation. We yeah. need a couple of motels. We need some investment <laughs> motels. But I've got to say that um, you know the situation the situation is fantastic because it's a mature gold mining gold mining industry, and we've got a situation now where we're not getting so many rentals. Yeah. Uh, we, we're getting the, the rentals in regards to the initial stages, yeah. but also people going out there buying their homes or a few acres and what have you, yeah. um, and just settling down. I mean, you've got a gold mine in a a very urban area, and I mean, yeah. people love it. They've got a lifestyle. Um, it's going to continue. Well, look, that's fantastic. Look, I don't know if you can catch it on the back wall there, John. I hear you've been in business for since 1983 or something like that, and... I always say that the car industry is a good measuring or yardstick of, of how the market's going. How's the, the last little while been for you guys? Well, we've been tremendously happy over the last uh, 10 or 15 years. The last six months, but I've got to say, since January, which is quite extraordinary, and it's since the hospital has got yep. into full swing, where I think we've got a spread of the economy, and, uh, and it's very, very even in, in Orange, uh, yep. whereas some other, other areas it's not. Uh, it's the best six months in business I've seen. Yep. And, uh, and as the mayor, uh, you've got to have a good income to um, support this very expensive yeah. area. Fantastic. Well, look, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, John. That was wonderful. And, okay. um, and look, for our members, you know, you heard it from the, the mayor, the, the, the horse's mouth, so to speak. So Orange is still very much a hot spot and it's got a fantastic future. Hi guys, part of what we do at Positive Real Estate is help people buy uh, good property deals in the marketplace. And sometimes we have to do that by building some property or using lightweight construction properties. These homes are very innovative and can be put at a fairly low price on some land around the country. So our job is to find some inexpensive land and put these great uh, properties onto them and get a great return for investors. Part of what we teach at our property information nights is how to go about doing this type of stuff. So come along and uh, we'll show you some great tips and strategies on how to get started. Positive Real Estate spends over $250,000 a year researching marketplaces. We help provide our members with some great content and relevant information on where to invest in Australia today. We also spend a lot of time researching marketplaces and being on the coal face, talking to the people in the know. Just like property expert Luke Berry and the Mayor of Orange. Come along to one of our property information nights and we'll help you understand where you should be investing in Australia today. Register now, events are held Australia wide and it's really simple, we can save a seat for you. See you there.